Hey, Cornerstone and Iron Circle, welcome back Tuesday night classes. Myself and Master Ray Broda here. Hope you guys are having a, uh, a, a good day and uh, hopefully you're gonna have a great class right now. This class, again, reminder, 5.30 p.m. is for Tiny Tigers, Little Dragons, and Youth Beginners. But anybody's welcome to jump in, including you, Mom and Dad. Don't try and hide behind the sofa. I see you back there. All right, let's get it started, shall right. we? Face the instructor, so yep. Gung A bow. All right, guys, I'm gonna lead you through the warm up and then turn you over to Master May Broda in a little bit. Face to me, turn you up. Kyung Ye. And Chun B, step out and Tia! All right, hands behind the back, student creed, repeat after me. Say, I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or physical health. Part two, I will develop self discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and in others. Part three, I will use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man and never to be abusive or offensive. Last part, we are a black belt school. We are motivated, we are dedicated, we're on a quest to be our best. Tom Su. All right, ready, ready up. Start out jumping jacks. We're just going to do one dozen. That's 12. Straight ahead, looking straight at the screen. Ready and begin. Hana, to, set, net, toss it, yas it, yugo, yoro, aho, yo, hana, to. And step out, chin be position, and tia. All right, everybody get down in your horseback stance. Prepare for punching. Make sure you have your proper karate fist. Fingers rolled in, thumb on the outside. Remember, the human hand was not made to break stuff. It was made to play the piano, play guitar, pick berries, bake, paint, all kind of stuff like that. It wasn't made to smash, but if you had to, you want to use these two large knuckles right here. Line up best with the larger bones in the arm. All right, settle in your stance. Wave your left hand. Say, howdy. Put that hand out in front. Bend your knees. Single punch on my count. And remember, when this hand goes out, the other one drives straight back. So the guy behind you is going to get what we call the belly full of elbow, right? Guy in the front gets punched, guy in the back gets the elbow. So left hand out on my count, single punch. Ready? Hana! To! Set! Net! Toss it! Yes it! You go! Yo! Aho! Yo! Alright, let's double it up. Let's go tier two of this time. Ready? Hana! To! Set! Net! Toss it! Yes it! Yugo! Yoro! Aho! Yo! Alright, three punches, key up, tongue su do! Remember that is the martial arts style you are studying. Ready? Hana! To! Tong su do! Set! Net! Toss it! Yase! Ilo! Yoro! Aho! Yo! Alright, very good. Back to Chun B. And Tia! Alright, put your right leg back and bring your hands up. And from here, we're gonna do Muru Chiki. Knee strike. We're doing it as a stretch, but you can imagine you're doing this to a bad guy. You're grabbing him by the shoulders, driving your knee into his body. So from profile, you wanna get up on the ball of your foot, push your hips forward. Bring it back. Right now, we're still doing it as part of the stretch, okay? Don't forget to key up loud. Reach out, grab your, grab your favorite bad guy, and smash. Ready, hana! Two! Set! Net! Toss it! Yes it! You go! Yoro! Aho! Yo! And switch, everyone says, yes sir, other side, ready, hana, two, set, net, toss it, yes it, ilo, yoro, aho, and yo. All right, step back to chin B. Okay, everybody down on the ground, push up position. See if I can get in the frame here, make sure. Belly button and shin touch the ground at the same time. Your arms actually have to bend. Otherwise, 
You're not pushing. Keep your butt from being up in the air like a volcano. Go with five. Stay with me. Ready, down, up. Everyone says one. Down, everybody else says two. Down, everybody else says three. Down, everybody up, four. Down, everybody up, and five. Good, let's stand up. Shake it loose. All right, tree up. Back to Chumbi. Tip. Put your right leg back, hands up. All right, last thing on the stretching. Anaso Pakuro Chagi. Inside, outside. Stretch kick. Doing a rainbow arc across your body, around and behind you. Ready and hana. Don't forget the key up, gang. Tull. Set. Net. Toss it. Yes it. And switch feet up and says, yes, sir. Other side, ready, hana. Huh, Toe. Set. Net. Toss it. And back to chun B. And cherry up. Come again, we say, come up, Sunita. All right, you ready, sir? Yes, sir. All right, Master May Broda is on. Face Sabon and May Broda. Cherry up. Sabon and Mikin yet. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my little patch of Brussels sprouts. Are we ready to go? Fantastic. So we're going to work on some things tonight. We're going to work on some advancing steps with the blocks that we did yesterday and also with some advancing steps with our kicks. And it's all going to be relative later on because Master Klaus, when I'm done, is going to go over the dragons and tiger form for you. So even if you are a white belt or an orange belt or even a green belt, these forms will be relevant because you're working your stances and you're working your chambers. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to attention, feet together, hands down by our side. We're going to pull our hands in. We're going to step out. Give me a tia! Chin be position. Now, everybody repeat. Say, papoki. Papoki is center punching exercise. And the way that I chamber my hands right now is going to be very, very important. So I'm going to take this hand. I'm going to bring it across like I'm holding a shield. I'm going to pull this hand back like I'm holding a spear or a sword behind that shield. Okay, I'm going to step out. Now, if I'm going to step out, I want to make a big step to the side and punch. All right, so let's try from here. This hand here, this hand all the way back. I'm gonna pick up this leg because if I'm punching with this hand, I'm, I'm gonna step out with that leg. But before we even get to the punch, everybody remembers how to make a proper fist, yes? Okay, so let's do that really quickly. It's important, let's do it with both hands. Let's do it two times on each side. So fingertips up, curl your fingers down, strap that thumb underneath. Let's do it again with that side. Fingertips up. Curl those fingers down, strap that thumb underneath. Great, let's do it with the other side. Fingertips up, strap that thumb underneath. One more time, fingertips up, strap that thumb underneath. All right, very good. So feet together, hands down by your side, back to chumbi position, pull your hands in. Step back, give me a tear. Awesome, we're gonna make our shield and pull back like we have a sword or a spear behind. We're gonna rock to the side and pick up that, step into a good horse stance and punch. So I'm gonna rock, give me a tear. All right, now, here's the deal. Once this hand goes out, the other hand has to go back. So I wanna go one. We're gonna go slow. As my hands are moving, they're twisting apart. So I'm using both sides of my body. Again, slow, slow, slow. Where's this hand? It's chambered up on my side. A couple more times. Slow, slow, slow. Very good. Now we're going to go faster. So each time I give the count, you're going to switch hands. You're going to punch. Give me a loud tia. Ready? One, tia. Two, tia. Three, tia. Four, tia. Five, tia. Very good. Come back to chun B position. Come with tension and bow. Great. Now we have to advance. We're going to step forward. So when we do this, we're gonna use front stance, chungle jase. So I'm gonna do it side to side so you see it. When you step forward, you wanna make sure that your front knee is bent, your back leg is completely straight. And the way that I teach it is, my toes on my front foot and my toes on my back foot are both pointing in the same direction, all right? So I'm gonna go this way first. So my front leg is bent, my back leg is straight, all right, and my toes point this way. If this foot, starts to turn out, what happens is my weight starts to center and my back leg starts to bend. I don't want that. I wanna make sure that that's straight and this is bent, all right? So we're gonna go this way, side to side. The other side, same. Front knee bent, back leg straight, toes pointing in the direction that I wanna go. All right, so from here, instead of putting our hands on our hips and looking kinda of saucy, 
What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our hands up, all right, martial arts style. So from here, everybody, come with tension, pull your hands in, step back, give me a tip. Good, cross your hands and pull them back. Now I'm going front stance this way. So everybody, front stance, sink. Now, when I turn, first thing that I'm gonna do is turn my head. So I turn and look in the direction I'm going. I'm gonna switch, other side. Doesn't have to be super duper fast. Same, look, switch. Good, that back leg is straight, front leg is bent. One more time, look, switch. Outstanding, that's the chun position. Great, so that's our front stance going side to side. Now in a couple minutes, we're gonna advance with our front step forward and actually do some technique. Some blocking, some punching, we'll do work on some different things today. Now, we're gonna to go to our fighting stance. All right, and I want you to practice. Now the deal with the fighting stance is, both knees are bent. Say it with me at home really loud so the people that are all over the house, not close, you can hear it. Both knees are bent, okay? So watch, again, we're not gonna go with our saucy stance with our hands on our hips. We're gonna pull our hands in nice and high. Feet together, hands down by your side. Pull your hands in, step out, give me a tia. Very good, cross your hands and in. Now I'm going to sit, okay? So I'm gonna bend this leg and then bend my front leg slightly. Now I'm gonna switch. Sit, other side, good. Other side, switch. Other side, switch. Other side, switch. I want you to do 10 of those, all right? So have this seated position, do it with me. My hands are in, I'm sitting. When I say switch, you switch. When I say switch, you switch. Try to turn that head first. All right, everybody get in the position with me. Bend those knees. Ready, switch. And again, switch. Good, eight more. Switch. Switch. Six more. Switch. Switch. Four more. Switch. Switch. Good job, two more. Switch. And switch. Beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna advance, and when I advance, I punch. So now we're going from chumbi position, from our neutral stance. Step out, give me a tia. Now I'm gonna make my shield my sword. Now I'm going to step. When I step, the sword hand is going to go straight out, but I'm gonna use my punch. So remember how we do that. Fingers down, thumb strapped underneath. So watch, I'm gonna step forward and punch. You're gonna do it with me. We're gonna go with this leg. We're gonna do slow for two, and then we're gonna go fast. So I'm going to step and punch. Beautiful, now come back to Chun B. Awesome. Now, other side. Now, this is the shield hand. This is the sword hand. Step and punch. Beautiful. Come back to Chun B. Always return to Chun B because now we're making good use of our time. Later on, when you're green belt, brown belt, red belt, you're going to do one steps. Okay? And this is the return position. So, without even knowing it, you're practicing proper form and you're practicing things that you haven't even learned yet. All right? Practice smarter, not harder. Come on, attention. Pull your hands in, step out, give me a tia. All right, now we're gonna go fast. Shield, sword, step out with me. Here we go, ready, go. Ah! Beautiful, return to chin B. Shield, sword, other side. Step out, give me a ah! Beautiful, return to chin B. Let's do it two more times. Shield, sword, step out, ah! Nice job, return to chin B. Other side, shield, sword, step out, ah! Very nice, and chin B. Beautiful, all right? Now we're gonna work on some of our chambers for our blocks. We're gonna do two specifically today. We're gonna to go low block and we're gonna go high block because we're gonna do them stepping. But we're gonna practice our chambers and just go through the motion to make sure our backhand is nice and high. When I first started training with Master Kloss, I was doing Taekwondo. And I had done Taekwondo for a very, very, very long time. And that was my, my background is from. And my hand was chambered really low. One of the things I had to get used to with this system is chambering my hand really high into my armpit. So I want you to focus on that. All right, so let's do a couple of low blocks in place. Feet together, hands down by your side. Pull your hands in, step out, give me a tia! Outstanding. Take this hand, bring it up. Let's go slow. Remember, down. The hand that's in my side is twisting. Other side, ready, down. Beautiful, let's do a couple more. Other side, down. Nice job, other side, down. Very good, and then back to Chun B. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do those stepping. All right, so when I step, we're gonna do two slow. One on this side, one on this side, and then we're gonna do four fast, kinda like we did our punches. 
So let's do it. Feet together, hands down by our side. Pull your hands in. Step out. Give me a tear. Outstanding. Take this hand. Bring it up. I'm going to step. Go slow. Step. Make my front stance. Slow. Beautiful. Step back. Make your chin big. Other side. Step forward. Slow. Outstanding. Make a chin beat. All right, now we're going to do four fast. Pull your hand up. Step forward. Give me a. Ah! Very nice. Chin B. Other side. Step forward. Ah! Nice job. Two more. A little faster. Pull your hand up. Step out. Ah! Good job. Chin B. One more time. Bring it up. Step out. Ah! And Chin B. Outstanding job. Next, we're going to do Sundan Maki. High block. Remember yesterday, if you were tuned in, we don't want to do our high block like this. We don't want to do it flat because then predominantly this muscle in the back of my arm, my tricep muscle, is the muscle doing the job. What's going to happen is going to collapse. So if I did this and Master Claus dropped his axe kick on this block, I'm directly underneath, everything collapsed, I'm in a bad way. I want to do my high block like the peak of a house. So I want to block to have everything go to the side, but also so I can move from side to side. All right, so we're going to do four slow in place, two advancing slow, and then four fast. Remember, we're working on our front stance predominantly right now. All right, so feet together, hands down by your side, pull your hands in, step back, give me a tear. Outstanding, take this hand, bring it underneath now because we want to go from the lowest point to the highest point. One, beautiful. Let's do three more. Underneath. Two. Good. Peak of the house. Remember, underneath. Three. Very good. Underneath. Four. Nice job. Now, back to Chun B. Now we're going to do it stepping. So I'm going to go left side first, step into my high block position. Remember, peak. So from here, feet together. Step out. Give me a. Good. Hand underneath. Step. One. Back to Chun B. Very nice. Underneath, step two. Beautiful. Step back. Now four fast. Hand underneath, step. Ah! Good. Back to Chin B. Other side. Ready? Ah! Good. Chin B. Two more. Ready? Underneath. Ah! Chin B. One more time. Hand underneath. And ah! Chin B. Outstanding. Feet together. Hands down by your side and bow. All right, now we're gonna move on to some kick techniques. And after we're done our kick techniques, Master Claus is gonna come out and he's gonna share some forms with you. Now, if you train here at Cornerstone, you probably have seen these forms. If you train at Iron Circle, we do basic block set to prep to do the Seike Hyungs. Either way, it doesn't matter. You're gonna benefit a lot from that, all right? So before I have him come out, We'll do basic block set one time, all together, just to warm up our upper body a little bit to get ready for Kyung's with Master Claws. Now, what I want to do is work on stepping with you guys. Okay, two kicks specifically. Front kick and roundhouse kick, all right? And we'll work on side kick maybe tomorrow when you come in, and we'll do some other cool things. So make sure that you're tuning in daily um, to make sure you don't miss any of this material. All right, so from here, feet together, hands down by your side. Pull hands in, step out, give me a tia! Good, right leg back, funny stance. Ah! I want my hands in my eye line. Remember, this is very important. My hands are in my eye line. What that means is my eye line is going straight, my hands are right there. So if Master Claus or an opponent were standing in front of me, it's almost like I have my hands up and I'm pushing him away. All right, so my hands are here. It's really no different than this. This is my shield, okay, my force field to keep him from penetrating my defense. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick, front kick. So I'm here and I front kick. Remember the leg bends twice, so I bring it up, I kick, bring it in, and down. Let's do it again, you're gonna do it with me two more times. Bend, snap, in, down. Last time, hands up in your eye line, very important. Bend, snap, in, down. Great, but what happens if the person is further away? What happens if I have to gain ground, all right? If my legs aren't long enough, I don't have, I'm gonna date myself here, but Inspector Gadget legs, where I can shoot my leg out and it grows across the room because I got robot legs, okay? Some of you know what I'm talking about, some of you don't have a clue. It's all good. Hands up, so look, instead of kicking this way, I'm gonna do it fast, instead of kicking, what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to step. So 
Let's put this leg in front, my right leg in front. Now, instead of kicking that way, I'm gonna bring my back leg up. If I bring my back leg up, I'm stepping forward. All right, take your back leg and step back. Let's do it two more times. My back leg steps up, back. Very good. My back leg steps up and back. All right, relax for a second. So now my back leg, remember what we were doing with that? My hands are up, I kick with my back leg, and it goes back, but it only goes so far. Now, from here, as I step up, I get extreme close up, okay? And then I step back. Let's give it a shot. From the side, watch. Back foot up, that's all I'm doing. Sliding my back foot up, kick, step down. Watch again. Back foot up, kick, step down. All right, we're gonna do it in the camera frame now. I'm gonna do it coming at you. So you're gonna do it with me. We're gonna go slow. We're gonna go three on the left and three on the right. All right, so feet together, hands down by your side, pull your hands in. Step out, give me a tear! Nice job. Right leg back. All right, with me. Nice and slow. Slide that back foot up. Good front kick, give me a Then step back. Good, let's do two more. Back foot up, kick again. Step back. Good, one more on the side. Step up. And back. Good, when I say switch feet, I want you to say yes sir. Ready, switch feet. Outstanding, same thing now. Back foot up. Everybody understand? My back foot up, I kick with my front leg. Let's do three. Here we go, do it with me. Back foot up, and then back. Let's do again. Back foot up, and then back. One more time, back foot up, and then back. Good, return to chin B. Come with tension, and bow. Outstanding. All right, last thing before I turn you over to Master Claus. We're gonna do the same style step, but we're gonna do roundhouse kick now. All right, so the same thing. If I'm firing my roundhouse kick off my back leg, it only goes so far. This time though, I'm going to step extreme close up. All right, so my roundhouse kick, if I kick, I'm here, I kick, boom, and I'm right here. If I step, I get much bigger, okay? Things on the screen are much bigger than they appear. So look, from here, same thing. My back foot comes up. I kick with my front leg, boom, and then I bring it back down. All right, so we're gonna go three on this side, roundhouse kick. Now this time, I'm turning my hip, but it's not like a full hit turn, like I would be if I was throwing my back leg. It's like 50-50, all right? So let's do three on this leg and three on the other leg. Here we go. Step up, kick, uh, and then back down. Let's do it again. Step up, kick, uh, and then back down. One more time. Step up, kick, uh, and then back down. All right, ready, switch feet. Yes, sir. Other side now, remember, I'm stepping up. Bring my feet together, let's go again. Step up, uh, and then back down. Again, step up, uh, back down. Last time, step up, uh, and then back down. Chin B, come with tension, bow. Outstanding, fantastic. Who's ready for Master Claus and some tiger and dragon forms? I know that I'm ready to, for that. All right, Master Claus, they're yours. Sure. Face Master Claus, sob it in. Yep. All right, thank you, sir. sir. All right. Okay, guys, here we go. These forms are for the four and five year olds. They are the tiger forms. There are three of them. When they are white belt testing for tiger orange, they need tiger form one. When they are orange testing for the green stripe, they need tiger form two. When they are the green stripe testing for the brown stripe, they need tiger form three. So let's get those done first. Are all done from a horseback stance. So we come from attention to tune B, have them drop in the horseback stance. I'm going to mirror image you guys. So that means uh, you're going to start with your left side. I'm going to start my right side just to keep it consistent in the camera. Five moves total in the first two uh, tiger forms. So tiger form one starts with, they're going to get key up on Kia, Tua, Tia, Tua, and Asa. Key up on every move. Cross pull apart, left side low block. Tia! Switch right side. Tua! Left side high block. Tia! Right side high block, two up. Center punch, asa. And then student snap to attention. That's tiger form one. Let's do that one again. We're in horseback stance. Two low blocks, two high blocks, one punch. Ready with me, ready, hana. 
Toe, set, net, and toss it. And to attention. All right, one more time, here we go. Drop it down, horse back stance, and hana. Toe, set, net, toss it. And to attention. All right, that was tiger form one, tiger form two. Even if this isn't for your belt, everybody do along with it anyway, just to get the workout in, okay? Tiger form two utilizes inside outside block and outside inside block. So the pattern is basically the same, four blocks and one punch. Down in the horse stance, cross and pull apart. Left side, inside outside block, one. Right side, two. Then outside inside block, which does not cross. It just comes across and breaks the plane, three. And then four, and then finishing with the punch, five and then back up to attention. So we're in the horseback stance, we cross and pull apart. We've got Tia, Tua, Tia, Tua, Asa. All right, one more time, guys, together with me. Ready? Tia, Tua, Tia, Tua, Asa. And to attention. All right, very good, Tiger Form 3. It's the first two Tiger Forms put together. So it's a little longer, still down in horseback stance. So we've got, starting with low block, Tia, Two up, and then high block. Tia, two up, and then inside outside block. Tia, two up, then outside inside block. Tia, two up, and a single punch. Asa, and then back to attention. Okay, one more time, ready by my count. We got low block, and low block, and high block, high block. Inside outside, inside outside, outside inside, outside inside, and punch to attention. All right, let's do that one full speed and stay with me. Okay, here we go, ready? Tia, Tua, Tia, Tua, Tia, Tua, Tia, Tua, Asa! And to attention. All right, good job, guys. Now we're gonna do Dragon Form 1. Dragon Form 1 is for Tiger Brown, testing for Dragon Yellow. So either a Tiger that's completed his first year is graduating out, or a, someone who's turning six, or a six-year-old starting from White Belt, okay? Gonna do a mirror again. So this will be your right hand will be a fist. Your left hand is open. I know I'm doing it opposite, that's intentional, okay? You're gonna start by going to your right side. So we have a two hand block to the right, drop down, double knife hand. Back up to the left, double block, drop down, knife hand. Both hands in, double elbow to the back, double punch. Again, we've got double block, reinforcing inside the bicep. Drop it down the knife hands. Bring it back up, double block on the opposite side. Drop it down the knife hands. Elbows back, pop it out, and double punch. We're a little crunched on time, so I'll cover uh, Dragon Form 3 later, and I'll detail Dragon Form 2 and 3 later, and we'll detail this one better. In the meantime, you guys who know it, follow along. Ready, we got Tia, Tua, Tia, Tua, Asa. All right, turn it up, Kyung Yip. Okay, guys, that is all we have time for. The next class is going to be coming in in less than two minutes. Thanks for tuning in. Keep coming. 7 o'clock tonight, there's another Tigers and Dragons class by Mr. Renoy, live from Santa Rosa, California. Yes, and then tomorrow evening, he's going to focus on white to orange belt ranks. But listen, if you're in the beginner's class, either one of those classes, if you couldn't do this, well, you wouldn't be looking at me but or listening to me, but I recommend that you do both if you can, all right? Um, also, if you are taking the next class, this class is really good basics review, even though it's not really designed for your rank to warm up for the next class. It's an hour. So I would take this class, warm up on your basics, get your hip joints moving, you know, get you a little bit of a sweat on, and that way at six o'clock you're ready to rock and roll. Beautiful. Ready? Face us, please. Shut up. Go again. So you got right hand up on three. Hana Tool set. Thanks, so. Thanks guys for joining us. Uh, we're just gonna leave it live and rolling here, and we'll be back out in ooh, a minute. Right?
Hey, look at that, it's 6 p.m. Welcome aboard Cornerstone. Uh, hopefully this is the intermediate group, six, uh, six got green belt youth, all the way up through adult, whatever rank, everybody in the pool. Um, if you've been with us since 5.30, that was great. Even though it was a, a peewee beginner class, there's still things in there to get you loosened up. You're still doing karate, all right? It might be uh, aimed at a little bit of a different demographic, but it's still movement and it's still good for you. So we're glad you're here, okay? Uh, let's get the ball rolling, sir. Yes, sir. Turn up. Give me a bow. All right, I'm going to lead you guys through the warm-up and get things rolling. Face to me. Turn up. Come get. Two and B, strong kick up. up. Hands behind the back. Student creed. Peter up to me. Say, I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or physical health. Part two. I will. Develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and in others. Part three, I will use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man never to be abusive or offensive. Last part, we are a black belt school. We are motivated. We are dedicated. We're on a quest to be our best. Tung Tzu. Okay, ready, turn it up. All right, starting out jumping jacks, five every direction, quarter turns to your left. Your left is that way. Ready and begin. Hana, to, set, net, toss it, switch. 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 Hana, to, set, net, Toss it, switch, Hana. Two, set, net, toss it. And to me, Tia. Popoki, left side center punch. Make sure you load up. Hand comes back. If you're punching, if your hand's coming from here, you're not punching. It might be a hammer fist, it might be a back fist. But if it's not coming straight down like you're punching down a pipe, you're not throwing a punch. Popoki is center punch exercise. So load up, left hand, left side. Step in the horse stance and punch. Okay, let's do it again. Lift up, step out, and kick up. Two. All right, knees bent, back up straight. Single punch, my count. Ready? Hunt up. Two. Set. Net. Toss it. Yes it. You go. Yo no. Aho. Yo. All right, now this time you're going to punch to a front stance, but on an angle. So I'm going to angle toward your left side, punching with. What will be my left hand be toward your, your left side there. So I'm angling off and punching to the side. And my stance is shifted here into a front stance. I look the other way. My hips turn. Body turn. Punch on the angle. Okay, stay with me. Ready? And ha! Should be opposite hand, opposite foot. Two. Good. Set. Net. Toss it. Yes. You go. Yo no. Aho. Yo! All right, step up to Chun B. And arm circles forward, big circles. Make sure they cross all the way in front. Reverse direction. All right, good, in and out now. Give yourself a big hug. Love me some me. Big hugs, good. Back to attention. Back to Chun B. Red leg back, fighting stance, and hands up. All right, from here, Apsu Kung Kyuk, followed by Bande Kung Kyuk. Front hand punch, followed by reverse punch. Remember, when you throw that first punch, you're moving out a little bit, firing out from the shoulder. It's coming back to your ear as the other punch goes out, and then pulling back up again. Pop, pop, okay? Big key up, especially on that second one, okay? Ready, and one. And back. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Good, a switch. Everyone says yes, sir. Other hand now. Ready? Hold up. Two. Set. Net. Toss it. Yes it. Ego. Yoda. And switch. Okay, now Muru Chiki. Knee strike, we're doing it as a stretch, but definitely has a combat application. 
So I want you to imagine as you're reaching out, you're grabbing the bad guy by the shoulders, driving your knee into the body. When you do that, you're going up on the ball of your support foot, and the other foot is going to put down, push your hips forward. Thrust your whole body, hips into it, come back up in a good stance, okay? Here we go. Ready? Strong key up, and hana! Switch, I'm gonna touch yes, sir. Other side, ready, hana, toe, set, net, toss it, yes, it, you go, you go, kyore, and switch. All right, from here, anaso pakaru, I'm sorry, let's go apadologi, apadologi first, front stretch kick. I know every kid out there when I ask them, What's the difference between a front stretch kick and a front kick? They all say, leg doesn't bend. Exactly, front kick, your leg bends two times. Chamber, re-chamber. Front stretch kick, it does not. Stays rigid, straight, whole time, comes all the way back. Just keeping your hands up. Ready, hunt up. Good, toe. Set. Net. Toss it. Yes it. You'll go. Yoda, and switch. One says, yes, sir. Other side, ready, hot up. Two, set, net, toss it, yas it, you go, Yoda, and switch. Okay, next, say, Anasil Pakaro Chagi. Inside, outside, stretch kick. Remember, get a big rainbow arc. Bring it across your body. Get that good rotational stretch going. Here we go, ready, hunt up, two, set, net, toss it, yes, you go, you go, good, a switch, ready, hunt up, two, set, net, toss it, yes, you go, Yodo, and burrow. Okay, everybody have a seat. Let's go butterfly stretch. Feet together, pull them in tight. Stretch it down. Give the adult posse out there watching a chance to stretch a little bit. Guys have a lot of time at home. Should be doing a lot of stretching. Set some goals for flexibility while you're out there. All right, feet straight out in front. Remember, don't cheat if you're bending, you're cheating. Only go as far as you can go without bending. Take it down, keep breathing. A few more seconds. Bring it up, one leg in, one leg out. Back and forth to the outstretched leg. Twist to the back side. Twist to the outside of the outstretched leg. Down again. And switch. Same thing. To the outstretched leg. To behind the closed in leg. Stretch to the outside of the outstretched leg. Back down again. And carefully, easy. Bring it up. Shake it out. All right, guys, here comes Master Me, bro, to face me. Hurry up. Can you get? Face Sabonim. Sabonim, you can get? Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to do, again, because of space constraints and you might not have as much room as we do here, is we're going to do basics, but we're going to do them advancing, and then you're going to go back to chumi position. The first thing we're going to do after uh, Master Klaus warmed you up is just get your stances warmed up so you're moving a little bit more dynamically. So feet together, hands down by your side, make a chumi, give me a ta! All right, now. We did this with the previous class, okay? And the way I explained it to them is shield, like in front of your body, and pull it back like you're holding some kind of a weapon, either a dagger, a sword, a spear, whatever, behind the shield. As we step, I'm gonna step and make my punch. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold this position, all right? Every time I give the command, you're gonna switch hands and punch. Switch feet and punch, rather, understand? So every single time, it's gonna be 
up and down. All right, so feet together, hands down by your side, pull your hands in, step back, give me a tia. Nice. Shield, sword, step. All right, every time I give the count, you're going to hop step. Switch those hands, switch those feet, land in a good front stance. Let's go for five. Ready? Hana! Toe! Set! Net! Toss it! Very good. All right, return to Chumbi, give me a tia. Now you're gonna do the same thing with low block. So from here, I'm gonna step out. Ah! Now, as I give the come out, you're gonna switch. Ah! I'm switching in place. Ah! Landing in a deep front stance. All right, here we go. Tune to position. Step out. Ah! Everybody's in their set position, ready to go. Going for five. Ready? Ha! Toe. Set. Net. Toss it. Good. Return to Chin Bay. All right. This time, Sandan Maki. Step out with the left side. Step high block. Ah! Hold it there. Each time I give the command. Now, everybody should be in this position with me right now. Every time I give the command, we're going to switch and punch. Remember, block comes underneath, and it's... Ah! Everybody understand? Here we go. So from right here, come back to the original set point. Ready? Ha-na! Toe! Set! Net! Toss it. And back to Chun B. All right, come on attention and bow. Breathe for a second. All right, we got two more to do in this format. The first one and the next one is in the out block. All right, so from here, hands in. Step out, give me a tia. I'm gonna cross my hands. The way that I do this, and I've always done it, is the back of my wrist touch. So I'm gonna turn, step, Aya! Now, this hand's gonna swing underneath. Boom, so from here, going for five. I'm gonna do the first one with you and stay in that position. Ready, one, Aya! hold it there. Here we go, let's do another four. Ready, Hana. toe, set, net. Good, return to Chumbi position. Aya! All right, now. Pakisoan or Amaki, out to in block. This is going to be slightly different. So I'm gonna pick up my hand, and as I step, I'm gonna block across. Now, same thing, I'm gonna lift, switch my feet, and block. So the first one you're gonna do with me, then you're gonna hold that position, and we're gonna do an additional, I don't know, we'll do five on this one too. All right, so from here, back hand up, step forward in your front stance, give me a, Aah! all right, now, as I switch, it's gonna be Aah! across, up, across here we go back to the original set point right here let's go five ready Hana. toe set net toss it all right now we're going to slow things down because the format's going to change slightly so you're not jumping and switching stances everybody should be warm you should have a little bit of sweat going we go a little faster because we only have a half an hour so we want to make sure that we give you a little bit of cardio workout and a lot of technical things to think about as well. And we haven't even got the kicks yet. All right, so feet together, hands down by your side. Pull your hands in, step back, give me a tia. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna do my left side first. I'm gonna step out, haranmaki chungdang konkyuk. So look, I'm gonna step forward, low block, reverse punch. And then I step back to my chumbi position. Now I'm going with my other side. Step forward, low block, reverse punch. Then I step back to my chumbi position. So I'm not advancing, I'm not turning, I'm going left, right, left, right, left, right. So with me, watch, I'll demonstrate really quickly. I step out and I go, ah! And then immediately I return. And then the other side, I'll step, ah! And then I'll return. So from here, ah! You'll return, I'll give the count again, you'll do the other side. All right, we're gonna go for a count of five. It's gonna be your left side first. Everybody chamber up, ready, and ah! Good, Chunbi. Now the other side, chamber up. Ah! Good, and Chunbi. All right, now I forgot to add the reverse punch. My fault. So I'll step forward, low block, reverse punch. So we'll do four like that. Pick your hand up, wanna step forward. Ah! And then Chunbi. Ready, this side first, step forward. Let's go for five. Left side first, ready. Hana! Chunbi. Other side, two. Chumbi, nice job. Other side, set, Chumbi. Nice, other side, net, Chumbi. Last one, toss it, Chumbi. All right, 
Now we're gonna add to that. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun with it. So we can do high block, inside, outside block, outside, inside block. Or we're gonna do some, um, some old demo team stuff. All right, so uh, this is a pretty cool combination. As a matter of fact, it's probably one of my favorite hand combinations. All right, so now look, I did low block and I did reverse punch. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to elbow. All right, now when I elbow, my hand comes open, comes across and twists. This hand goes back into my chamber right here. We're gonna go slow. So look, I'm gonna step out, low block, reverse punch, elbow, and then back to Chun B. Watch again, same side, low block, reverse punch, elbow. Chun B, let's go on the other side, do it with me. Hand up, step, low block, reverse punch, elbow. Good, Chun B, let's do it on that side again. Step forward, low block, reverse, oh, I did the wrong side. Low block, reverse punch, elbow. All right, let's go a couple. I'm gonna say them to you, you're gonna do them on your own. Ready, from Jun B position, step forward, low block, reverse punch, elbow. Jun B, other side now, step forward, low block, reverse punch, elbow. Jun B, other side, step forward, low block, reverse punch, elbow. Jun B, very good. Other side, last one, low block, reverse punch, elbow. Good, now, just to give you a little bit of a pointer, when I'm doing hand combinations, whenever I was testing, first, second, third, fourth on, and they give you hand combinations that are more than two or three, then they go into four and five, I would say them in my head as I did them, and this, I key up at the end. Because you're not gonna key up six or seven times, you know, if you're gonna do low block, reverse punch, elbow, and whatever else you're gonna do, I say them in my head and I key up on the last time until I have it anchored, it's a good tool, and then you go. All right, so now we're gonna take that segment, the first segment, the first part that we did, and we're gonna put it on the shelf for a second, and we're gonna work the next part. So everybody repeat, say, yaksu. Okay, so from here, everybody pull in, step out, give me a tip. Now I'm going to step out center knife hand block, one. And now reverse punch. Uh, then step back. Now the other side, step forward. Center knife hand block, reverse punch. Uh, and now step back. Other side, center knife hand block, reverse punch, uh, and then step back, good, hand underneath, center knife hand block, reverse punch, uh, all right, Chun B, we're going to start with this side, so when I give the count, it's going to be, uh, when I say Chun B, you're going to return, then when I give the next count, uh, so we're going from side to side, left side, right side, all right, left side first, stepping out, we're going to go for four, ready, Hada! Chun Bei, nice, other side. To, Chun Bei, very good. This side again, set, Chun Bei. Other side now, net, Chun Bei. All right, now we're putting the entire pajama party together. So check it out, it works like this. Feet together, hands down by your side, pull it in, step out, give me a tear. So I step forward, do it slow with me. Do it immediately, don't wait, don't watch, just from here, low block. Reverse punch, elbow, yuck su. Now make a chun bi. Other side, step forward, low block, reverse punch, elbow, yuck su. Chun bi. This is supposed to be challenging. Some of you that have been here forever, it's gonna be a piece of cake. Some of you, it's gonna challenge you. That's okay. If you don't get it, you can always watch this at a later point and go back and go over it again. Hand up, step forward, low block. Reverse punch, elbow, yuck su, good, chun bi, other side, low block, reverse punch, elbow, yuck su, beautiful, make a chun bi. Now we're gonna go left and right, we're gonna do forward speed, okay? So it looks like this, as I step forward. Ah! And other side. Ah! All right, here we go, this side first, I'm gonna give you plenty of time to reset between the count. Do the best that you can. Don't get frustrated if you're having trouble with it. Remember, you're about to have a breakthrough in your ability level, and that's a good thing. All right, left side first. Ready? Hana! Chun Bi. Let's try this side now. Ready? To! Chun Bi. All right, stay on it. Other side. Ready? 
Set! Jimmy! Other side. Ready. Net! Shouldn't be. All right, very good. Feet together, hands down by your side. Couldn't get bow. Nice. Now we're going to move on to kicks, okay? Some of the kicks that we're going to do were in the segment that I did on the YouTube channel. So if you're not, if you're not subscribed to the Iron Circle YouTube channel, please do that. Um, if you take my classes, you've done these kicks before. If you haven't, it's uh, new stuff. But most of you have met me and you know what, what, uh, what we're doing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our right leg back and we're going to kick. Because I'm approaching the camera and we're going to um, act as if, obviously, that you all have space constraints, we're going to step back. But I want to stay whatever side that I land on. So, for instance, if I'm here and I go front kick, round kick, and I land, I want to stay this side, step back. So I got plenty of room. Now I can do the other side. Everybody understand? All right, very good. Feet together, hands down by your side. Chun me, give me a tia! Right leg back, fighting stance. All right, first combination for kicks. It's going to be front kick, land in front, and then roundhouse kick, and then we're going to step back. All right? So from here with me, we're going to do a set of maybe five kicks before we switch. I'm going to demonstrate the first one, and then I'm going to give the count. Uh, actually, I'll do both sides so we know what we're, going, what we're doing, and then I'll give the count. All right, so here we go. Ready? Ha and then slide back. Now I'm on the same side. We're going to do it again. Here we go. Ready? Two. Slide back. Good. Switch feet. Now the other side for two. Ready? Ha and slide back. Ready? Two. And slide back. Good. Jimmy. Next, okay, we are going to do side kick, step behind side kick. But our side kick is not going to be on our back leg. It's going to be off of our front leg. Okay, so we'll do three of these combinations tonight. Uh, the, net, the last one will be our challenge set. All right, so from here, what I want to do is I want to get into a horse stance or a fighting stance depending on your level of hip flexibility. If you've got really good hip flexibility, maintain your fighting stance that you would for free sparring. If you're working on your flexibility, horse stance is actually better because my hips are turned a little bit more, all right? So from here, what I'm going to do is my front leg side kick. Now, some people, when they lift, they lift and pivot, which is this. Perfect. If you have hip problems, knee problems. You can pre-pivot. It's not cheating. All I'm doing is I'm taking my back leg and pivoting it before I lift my leg. It uh, eases up a lot of the friction of your pivot. All right, so if you are above the age of 18 or if you're a high school athlete that's had any kind of knee problems, this is for you. All right, so from here, I'm sideways. My hands are up in my eye line, all right? What I wanna do is I wanna throw my front leg side kick. So I'm gonna pick up and I kick. Then I set down, then immediately I step behind, and I kick, and then I step back out, all right? Watch again, from here, I'm gonna pick up my front leg, and I kick one, and I set down. Now I'm gonna step behind and I kick, boom, and then I step back out, all right? We're gonna do two on this side, and then we're gonna switch and do two on the other side. Ready, hands up, and ha! Make sure that you're stepping out. What I mean by stepping out is after I do my step, Side kick. Boom. I step and step back out. Let's go again. Front leg side kick. Step behind side kick. Ready? Go! Beautiful. Now, from here, from this position, I say switch feet. You say yes, sir. Switch feet. Nice. Same thing on this side. Front leg side kick. Step behind side kick. I'll demonstrate it on this side again, and then we'll go. So from here, I want to kick. One. Set down, step behind, two, and step back out. All right, here we go. Front leg side kick, step behind side kick for two. Ready, ha -da! And step back out, and tall. Beautiful. All right. Master Claus, how are we doing on time? Six minutes, sir. All right, very good. All right, uh, face to me, come on attention. We're gonna do the challenge thing next time. I went a little bit over, I apologize. If you wanna do it now, we can cover forms tomorrow. I mean, we have a captive audience here. You know what, you. let's do more kicks, because it's kicks, right? And that's what we do. Did you wanna uh, add something, or you know, jump in at the end, or I don't, I don't wanna. No, what we'll do is we'll, we'll cover the forms tomorrow, and, and also for the advanced, 
Hello. For the advanced, uh, Mr. check the, the, I sent the class schedule out that Mr. Vinoy is doing also, very rank specific, so I'm sure he's gonna cover a lot of that stuff in those classes as well. So anyway, we'll get to the forms tomorrow night. Keep kicking. All right, so what we're gonna do is, um, normally when I do my kick set at home, I'll do my rear leg roundhouse kick, and I'll do maybe a set of five, and then I'll do my front leg roundhouse kick, and I'll do a set of five, and I'll do my switch kick into a set of five. But if I find if I'm crunched for time, I combine all those things. All right, so I'm gonna do them slow and do them with me, all right? So from here, first thing I do is I'm gonna do my roundhouse kick. So I kick, boom, and then I put down. Now immediately I fire my front leg, boom, and then I do my switch kick, boom. That will be a set of one. All right, so again, slow. We'll do it on this side, slow again, and then because we're crunch for time, I just want you to try to fire it. So again, slow, look, my hands are up. I kick, roundhouse kick. All right, then I kick, front leg roundhouse kick, and then I kick, switch kick. All right, let's try fast. I'll demonstrate fast for you once, and then uh, we'll do three on this side, three on the other side. So here we go, I'm gonna kick, one, two, three. Watch again. From here, I kick one, two, three. All right, here we go. Let's go for three. Ready? Hana! I can hear the air molecules separating. That's how fast you guys are. Let's go again. Ready? To! Crazy. I think I just saw lightning outside of the school. One more time, let me see if I can get a little Thor's hammer action. Ready, three! I don't know, I don't know what I've done in my life to be this blessed that I can teach people with such talent. Let's do the other leg now. I'm gonna demonstrate for you once at speed, and then after that, we're gonna do it three times, and then we'll be done for this evening. So my hands are up, I kick. One, two, three. Watch again, from here, I kick. One, two, Three. Let's give it a shot. Three times. Ready? Hana! Good. Set. Toe. Outstanding. Keep those hands up. Last time. Three. That was Korean English, by the way. It was English and Korean. I learned that from Master Gawa. Nice job, guys. Very good. Outstanding class tonight. I hope you got your sweat on. I hope you enjoyed it. We are going to see you here again tomorrow at 5.30 and then again on Thursday. Make sure you're hitting up the YouTube channel. Make sure that you're looking at the World Tung Sudo link that we sent you. That's a powerful resource. World Tung Sudo has really had our back through this challenge and for them to be able to set out their form series and their one step series, you know, direct from the association and just give that to you, that's huge. So be grateful. You have a lot of people behind you. I know that Master Klaus and I are grateful for them. We're also very grateful for you, for your effort, for your loyalty. Um, for your dedication, so thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Absolutely. Uh, don't forget Mr. Mr. Vinoy's classes, all the other resources. I'm probably just repeating the very same things that, that you just did now. Um, kickboxing parents, make sure you check into the kickboxing group. I believe Mr. Holt is going live tonight. I think he's going at 7 p.m. so you can get your kickboxing workouts in at home too. All right, face here. There you go. Bow. Right hand up. Ready? Hanatol set. Thanks, guys. See y'all later.